e-sport is the entertainment of the future. Nobody takes a title from G2. I'm doing something I've trained my whole life to do. G2 claim their ninth title. If you want to enter e-sport, find something you're good at, become a master at it, and then try to connect it to the e-sport world. Undisputable, indescribable, oh My name is Romain Bijard, I'm 35, I'm French, and I'm the general manager for the League of Legends department at G2 Esports. Always give 100% in everything I do. It sounds like a really PR answer, but that means dedicating your whole life from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed. My mission and responsibilities are to create nurture, lead, and protect the League of Legends ecosystem inside of G2. I really like this job. There's no real difference between real life and work. You're always at work, kind of, uh, but it's a really special kind of work, right? You're managing a team of really, really skilled and specialized individuals, and you have to make sure they perform and they can dedicate their brain only on the game. I've been doing esports for something like 10 years now. I started on the brand side, then I moved into teams with teams like Unicorns of Love, Opti Gaming in the US. I've spent three years at Riot to work on the business development for the European Championship, and then I missed the team side of things. I missed working with players, I missed working on the field, so I joined G2 in 2022 to manage the LOL team, and we've been having a blast so far. To be a good GM, you have to be passionate. You have to listen a lot, have the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes. You have to lead, but be a support, because they are the ones clicking and winning at the end of the day. I would love to be able to give an advice to younger me, but I know younger me would not have listened. Keep being happy, that's it. Make, make decisions which are gonna keep you happy. You know, pro player life, I'm a mix between a mom, a dad, Maybe, maybe a brother sometime. I spend a lot of time with them, they spend a lot of time with me. So we have to understand one another and have to make sure they can just focus on the game and only the game. My typical week is six days, six days and a half usually. And we have a couple of different days. We have the classic scream day, which takes a lot of our time. We practice the game versus other teams. We have media day, doesn't happen a lot, it's usually once a month. <laughs> we have match day, which are really important. That's the day we go to the studio and, and we play there. We have day off from time to time, which also need to be responsible because every single of those days is really discussed and optimized. So I believe that to do my job efficiently, I need to be with the team as much as possible. So I understand what they think, how they think. and. Due to the specific way we practice League of Legends, we have to go through a whole game every single time. That means you have to deal with the burden of winning or losing at the end of the day, so it can have a lot of emotional impact. Things can spiral really quickly, like little challenges can turn into giant problems if they are not tackled instantly. So that's why it's really important to have the staff members always with the players to understand what's happening as a, as a crew, as a team, as a, as a fellowship. The word try is the polite version to excuse yourself to not do things. You say no, you say yes, but you don't say I will try. That makes no sense. You can try to anticipate things as much as possible. We just won the winter split. Maybe it's the last time we ever won something ever. You never know, right? Fnatic didn't know that was the last time they were winning something in 2018. And look at where they are now in League of Legends. We're missing something. I know. I know eSport is the entertainment of the future because it's using the new technology, allowing people to connect with one another and to compete really efficiently. Humans love to compete since the beginning of, of time. We love to specialize into some dumb activities and other people are gonna watch you do so. Video games are one of the perfect platform for it. So I don't know if the current version of eSport is gonna be the future. I know eSport is the future. The moment you can compete versus one another and make it really easily shareable so people can watch, it's gonna bank. And I know they're gonna need general manager in 10 years, so I'm happy where I am.